Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming. I am Bob, back for another episode of Age of Wonders 4, and since I last recorded, the Primal Fury DLC uh, update dropped. So we've got some new content uh, in this episode, some of which is going to kind of like may affect this series somewhat. Uh, one of the most notable changes is that uh, the Seeker Arrows upgrade which I have been using to get extra range on my mage locks, is no longer under the Tome of Enchantment. So all of my armies have basically lost a range on their unit. You can see if I click on one of these guys, it would have been, they would have had Seeker Arrows and the range would have been five. It is now back to a lowly range of, oh wait, it still says five. Hang on a second, am I wrong about this? No, I think these guys just had naturally a bit longer range, if I remember. I think they normally have that uh, extra range. I think the Seeker Arrow, yeah, I think the Seeker Arrow is made at six. So yeah, basically uh, they just, they don't have Seeker Arrows on them anymore. It is still in the game, but it has been moved. It is no longer in the Tome of Enchantment. It is in the Tome of Winds, which I do not have yet. The Tome of Enchantment gives a different buff, which is actually uh, this Purging Arrows. Also this Earth Shaper sand thing has just been renamed. It's effectively the same um, thing I was using before. It just has a different name. But now Purging Arrows, which used to be Seeker Arrows, is a different spell, and I do actually need to recast that. 10% damage bonus against magic origin units and 60% chance of removing one positive status effect from the target. Not as good as Seeker Arrows was, but it is a tier one tome upgrade. I will go ahead and grab it, just because why not? Um, and then we will carry on. So uh, a couple things uh, to note in the comments from the previous episode. First things first, I need to fix this. Uh, I gotta name my cities according to uh, Steve's uh, deep, deep mm -hmm. lore. Uh, so I named Washington DC uh, because that's where the IRS headquarters is located. But I found out, um, I think it was Sarah Feingold that told me this, but the IRS actually has a foreign filing office in Austin, Texas. Um, so we're going to rename this city. I was going to name it Austin, but I think it's just better to just keep it simple. This is just Texas right up here. There we go. This is Texas, everyone. This is exactly, this is exactly, for those of you not in the U.S., this is exactly what Texas looks like. Um, you're welcome for the geography lesson. You get free education here at Black Arrow Gaming. Um, outpost over here. I still haven't decided what I'm going to name this city, although I'm tempted to name it like the Black Gate or the Gates of Mordor or something like that, because as I'm looking at my armies getting ready to cross over here, this just looks like like Frodo and Sam coming over the mountains and looking down and seeing Mordor in this horrible pit of death. Um, one problem with this city that I have noticed is that, uh, well, it's actually a fairly substantial problem. Um, I can't, this mountain pass is no man's land. I can't put a province there. So this city is stuck between the tiles that can get here and the tiles that can get in here, which it'll get all of these, but it actually, I don't think I can get the seal because that's like a center tile and I'm not using those. Like self-imposed rule for this series is I can't get the seals, Victor. I just have to prevent the others from getting it. So, um, or maybe, I don't know. It's it, Yeah, I think I'll leave it alone because I think if you take a seal, it spawns stuff that try to take it back. And the point of coming down here and clearing this out is so I don't have to deal with crap down here. I still think the city's worth it though because this Ember Source Furnace will make it a nice uh, place to recruit cheap units on top of the fact that I can get Fire Giants in the Rally of Lieges. Um, speaking of which, I actually haven't looked at what my options are in the Rally of Lieges and nothing special. I'm not going to mess with the, the serpents there. I'd rather just make more guns. Speaking of which, I'm going to pop back into Washington, D.C. I do have a little bit of extra money now. I'm going to grab another... Uh, do I want another Dragoon or maybe another... Maybe another Mage Lock. How many Mage Locks do I have? Uh, Steve's army up here has... You know, he actually doesn't have very many. Let's go ahead and make another Mage Lock because I can make one of those in one turn. Maybe it could join Steve as he goes southwest to deal with um, uh, this derelict workshop over here. Um, I did have Chris Lighthawk also mention that I should grab this Temple of the God Era along the way. Uh, I'm planning to do that, yeah. Uh, also, my city cap, let's see, it's two of three. I might want to think about bumping that up to four and getting another city set up while I'm over there. Because I don't think there's any other nasty stuff there. I guess there's a derelict workshop up north, but it might be far enough away that it won't bother me. 
um, until the city borders expand out that way. But this seems like a decent place to have a city because there are a couple temples on each side of it. So I'll probably do that. Um, so yeah, we'll be working on that. Of course, those guys are heading into the, the, the through Mordor to go take out the derelict workshop back there. Sauron's building tanks and we can't have that crap. Um, and then finally from N. Spalding, Empire Upgrade uh, that we were talking about uh, probably gives resources per ruler you're at war, you're at war with. Uh, it's, um, uh, which one of those was this? I think it's this one. Yeah. Destined Conquerors. 50 gold and 50 mana per active warrior involved in. We are pretty sure, uh, I think N. Spalding is probably right about this based on how I know the game kind of works, but that upgrade probably gives you that 50 gold and 50 mana per person you're fighting, not per, like, war, because I think the game kind of counts it based on per individual person you're fighting. Um, but that being said, it's also only going to give it to you probably per uh, active like or like per person you can see. So if I in the diploma, in, if I was to go into the diplomatic overview, there's going to be three other dragons that I haven't met. So I don't think I would get the income from them. Um, so it's still definitely something worth keeping an eye on uh, and grabbing when I think it becomes available. But it's not going to be for another 55 turns. That being said, I am planning on picking up a chaos tome, so that'll speed it up quite a bit. All right, and that's pretty much it um, for the feedback this week. There's a lot of good general discussion in the comments. If you guys are interested in hearing the back and forth, um, I would highly recommend checking out the comments section and just reading through what some people have posted. Uh, but I think I covered most of the important stuff for this episode. It's mostly just a continuation of what we were doing before, trying to kind of get finances in order a bit, get new cities set up, and get my economy booming. Um, and so far, it seems to be uh, seems to be going well. Um, I can actually, let's see, after this, I'm going to go ahead and grab, actually, probably the bathhouse. We'll just stack happiness bonuses in this city until I can get um, the other province improvements I need to boost production uh, in other ways. So, yeah, Texas is getting all the luxuries now. All right, we still got this guy underground. Oh, yeah, I was waiting on, um, I was waiting on the water crossing basic seafaring ability, but he had to wait because I'm setting up another city in the southeast where that outpost is. So, yeah, I'm going to hold off on that. Um, and I got this guy kind of sneaking over the mountains over here in the southwest. There's one of Blue Cities, well, outposts. So not a city yet. Maybe it can slip by. Okay. Close that. Close that. Spell's ready to launch. Okay, close. Um, and I think that's it. So let's end the turn. And see where things go next. Don't see any movement aside from maybe there could be stuff going on over here. Now, the moment I step foot into these guys' territory, actually, I already have stepped foot into their territory. They may be sending stuff after me. I did just knock out one of their armies, though, so I feel fairly confident in sending this group in here. And honestly, I don't have much of a choice. This needs to get done. Uh, so we're just going to go for it. Yeah, that is definitely something I want to grab while I'm over here. If I have enough left over after the derelict workshop, I don't know uh, if they're going to get another spike in power. Um, but yes, we're going to go ahead and found another city of the IRS over here. Uh, and then we can keep moving towards the derelict workshop over here. This is another group that was sent out to attack me. Uh -huh. So I have to intercept them before I can even go any further. Whoops, I did not. That was a misclick. Didn't mean to move them there. Doesn't really matter, though. All right, and then you're on hold there again. Sorry for the pause there. I thought I had to sneeze, and I had to mute my mic, and then I didn't. Um... Oh, hey, hey, hey. They're leaders over here. 
that's noteworthy, and they're already level 12? Holy crap. Dragon looks cool. Uh, well, they've got a hefty mountain range across to get to me. I'm going to try to just lead them away with my scout. I'm going to keep going the way I was going, and maybe it can lead them... Well, okay, I need to do this carefully because I would like to move on the mountains. I also want to stay away from whatever could be lurking near that workshop. So what I think I'm going to do is move like right here. That is probably out of range of that stuff because they would have to move on to a river tile to get to me. Chasm, which is 12. That should keep anyone from getting to me on this turn, I think. All right, we got another guy with a gun. I'm also gonna train another Dragoon. I know I can't go too crazy on the spending. Oh, we're already at minus 29 gold per turn. Oh, that, that, okay. That 58 or whatever that I was getting just wore off. All right, we're gonna have to cancel that. Um, canceling this item will refund any gold and mana you've spent. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's fine. Um, oof, yeah, I forgot. I was getting like an extra 58 gold per turn from an event, and I think that just wore off. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're back in the red, unfortunately. Uh, we need... Gosh, what do we need? We need... Um, anything that gives gold... Uh, Reaver Manufactorium might work. Uh, that's a mine right there already. Okay, well, hopefully once this city gets up and running, it'll that'll help. It's going to get another population the moment it's up, so I could build another mine out here. Um, yeah, which is probably what I'll do. Although, tempted, hang on, does this count as a mine? Ooh, that does count as a mine. And that's... That's another 10 gold. It's actually not really any better than just getting a normal mine. It's actually technically a little bit worse, because I don't get the mana from it, from that uh, Materium upgrade. But... I still think I'm going to want to try to expand in that direction. Because I can build a quarry, which at least boosts some other buildings. Yeah, all right. We'll think about that when the time comes. Uh, Texas produced a tavern. They're drinking in Texas. Uh, yeah, we're just going to let the bathhouse run through. Um, but I have to do something about my current financial obligations. Um, mm -hmm. Purging arrows is ready. All right, we can do that. Respond here is offered to join. I would love to. Um, that oh yeah, the hero recruitment has also been changed. So um, the number of heroes is now based on the number of, the number of turns the game has been going. Not it's no longer tied to your number of cities um, in the most recent update. So I actually could get more heroes. Uh, but I'm not going to right now, because even though I can afford them, um, it is very expensive. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to keep that gold reserve there so I don't go, um, into the negative gold amounts, because then your units start having, like, morale penalties and stuff. We don't want that. We gotta be, we gotta keep, uh, keep paying these people. Um. Oh yeah, speaking of like new changes and stuff, there is something you can cool you can kind of do. Um, I'm gonna go back over here to let's see. Uh, no, it's not in there. Um, what am I looking for here? It would be in here, I think. So like spawnkin, I can hide the effect from it now, and then if you go back and look at Steve, he's like a normal guy again. He's not like a little guy. So yeah, you can toggle visibility for all your uh, race transformations and stuff, which I think is cool. I might leave them at like normal human height because these are supposed to be the IRS. They're they're not all like tiny little people. So I'll leave them at normal human height, I think. Although uh, actually, I, you know what? I might change that just for the sake of 
you know, I'll change it back. I'll change it back just for the sake of the gameplay and people watching me, because spawn can actually does have kind of a mechanical effect in the game's combat system by, um, like, showing... Because the smar smaller race, the target race is smaller and more numerous, um, they take casualty uh, penalties at a slightly different rate. So you'll see a smaller number of smaller, a larger number of smaller people, um, and the more that drop, the more it affects your casualties. So for the sake of this game, we'll just leave Steve the way he is. I think he's, you know what, he's fine. He's fine. That looks, it, it, it works for Steve. Um, but yeah, just kind of a cool thing you can do. Because there are some race transformations that I just, like, am not a huge fan of. Like, um, I don't really like the one that turns your people, like the Leafkin one that literally turns them green. It's like, I don't really want my... Like, I made a, a Wood Elf race because, you know me, I'm like a... I like the Druid stuff. And, but I don't really want them to be green. And that lets you change that, which is really cool. I like that. It's a nice change. Anything cosmetic in video games. I'm one of those people who, like, I love playing a lot of RPGs. Oh, boy. One-on-one <laughs> -on -one with a dragon. How do you think that's going to go? I don't know, guys. I think I can manage it. Uh, we're going to run that scout away. Um, hopefully before he has a chance to do anything. Oh, wait. Nah, never mind. They just auto-die. Because those units can't fight on their own. Well, there goes that probably worth spending the money to get another one and just stick him on the mountains watching that pass over there but yeah i'm one of those people in rpgs like i love anything that lets you just affect the cosmetics of your character without affecting their stats i personally think every game should have some sort of cosmetic outfit options and that can override whatever your armor is because a lot of times the best armor just looks dumb something I wish was in Baldur's Gate 3. I love Baldur's Gate 3, but I wish you could, like, change the cosmetics of the armor you're wearing. Uh -huh. I know you can toggle it to, like, your camp attire, but that just doesn't look as cool as the armor. All right. Well, we're going to intercept these guys here. Um, yeah, just go like this, I guess. I might um, actually attack with yeah. I was trying to think of if I should what I should attack with because I might want to pull them back for healing and right now they could reach and get back into the outpost post for healing on this turn but you know what we'll move okay we'll do this we'll just move this one guy and then depending on how the battle goes you know, it actually probably doesn't make that much of a difference. Let's just do this. Um, backing off probably isn't a bad idea anyway, because it lets me get an extra mage lock in, in addition to healing. Um, okay, we got volcanic eruptions behind me. Two of these molten things. Um, all right, let's just move everyone over. This time, I'm going to try to take this little rocky outcropping here use it to my advantage. I do have a Dread Spider Matriarch now. I got a a nice new big spider. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dang, Steve is fast. Uh -huh. hmm. Yeah, let's pull everyone kind of towards the middle. Use these rocks as cover. I like the uh, layout over here. My extra dogs. Good mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. huh? Alright, and then we better get that pike up there in the middle. And that looks pretty good for the moment. Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna have to change my defensive formation here a bit. Um. All right, I am going to fire that cannon. That should be safe to do. What am I 
going to do here? At least this one gave me a warning this time instead of just blowing up in my face. You know what? Let's just get the hounds out there and cause some ruckus in the back lines. Okay, good. It's going to take at least two units to deal with him. Um, it's for you guys. If I can hit the those that one, it's going to spill lava on its friends. I canceled defense mode, but not against the right units. I think this one's still on defense. I would like to immobilize one of them, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, we're going to leave this other dog over here for now and kind of back off on this side a bit. I'll go ahead and take the 50% shot here. Oh wait, hang on. Before I do that, Steve can mark that guy. So we're going to do that first. This free mark, that'll give me a better chance to hit and do a little more damage. Okay, good. And we managed to set their friends on fire. Excellent. Um, and I'll have Steve go ahead and take a shot at the same thing, just to keep that molten spill going. Use it against him. Um, I want a free spider minion, I think, to get in the way help protect Steve. So you just stand there. You don't really need to do anything else but just guard Steve while he keeps shooting. I'm gonna move the dragoons. Oh wait, no, no that's not a dragoon. That's a houndmaster. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move them back. This thing might go after the cannon, but... Actually, might go after the spearman. It's a lot of stuff that could go after the spearman. All right, we're gonna move. We're gonna move back. They may go after the cannon. If they do, I should be able to get him off easily enough. Get him off of the cannon, and I don't want them charging this side at all. So I want to keep everything out of their range. I think this guy is actually safe here because the rock sort of blocks the dude's path around. In fact, this guy should be safe here too. Although I'm going to put the, um, the Dark Knight in the front. There we go. That looks okay to me. They can't reach anything with those Molten Furnaces aside from this line here. Ooh, actually, I don't like that. I think I actually will put the Pikeman back up front. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I would rather risk that Pikeman. And then I'll put him there to give, uh, like, a shield for everybody. Wait, that's my Dark Knight. Who is this, then? Oh, that's the dog. No, that's my Scrap Hermit. Okay. Alright. That looks like a decent enough setup. Then I'll kind of work these guys around the side over here. Um, also, what should I maybe... Hmm... Should be using designate target more. Maybe there's another spell I could use here. Oh wait, mental mark. I should have done this earlier. Two marked, three sundered resistance. Okay, well, that would have been much better to use on the opening turn there. Okay, good. One of them ran off to go deal with that. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Okay, that spider is dead, but uh, that's kind of what it was there for. Um, I'm gonna do another mental mark on that group. That's a really, really good spell for me. And I can't distract the big guns anyway. Oh, that's so much Sundered Resistance. I think they have five stacks of Sundered Resistance now, or Sundered Defense. Oh wait, it is, Oh dang it, it is resistance, it's not defense. So that actually doesn't help me, that doesn't help my rifleman, unfortunately. Um, still good though, for adding stacks of marked. Okay, I think I'm just gonna shoot this thing and try to kill it before it 
damage as anything else. Uh, what's the range of co this cone attack here? I could maybe immobilize everything except for the um, except for the furnace itself. Well, at least this guy's up here and is basically no threat to anything right now. Um, I could maybe go after them with the dogs, but then this machine would just kill the dogs. How can they make that shot? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have seeker arrows. How can they make that shot? Unless they're in an army with a leader that's giving precision strike or something. Ah, this thing is just at the wrong angle to do what I want it to do. I guess I'll take that shot. Uh -huh. right, I think I'm going to move up a little bit here. And might use drive back. Just trying to figure out an angle. I want to use drive back here to set up a better web for the spider, um, but I'm not entirely sure what angle it'll push this guy. If I move here and then push him, I don't know if I'll push him left or, or left or right. Um, and then I also have to think about where my guy's gonna end up standing because the spider won't be able to navigate to that spot. Yeah, I think I'm going to not do that right now. Uh, let's see, I've got this guy's Dark Surge, which is another 2x cone attack. Alright, you know what? I am going to do this. We'll see where it puts him. Okay, put him where I didn't want it to put him. That's a problem. Now I have to deal with him. Does this only affect enemies? It is. It does only affect enemies. What about the web? That it looks like it affects everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. Oh wait, that takes all three. Okay, well I messed that up. Um, I could drive this guy back. I think I'd rather try to hit him with more range though. This at least did free up kind of the middle of the field here. To get that dragoon, to get a dragoon through, to get um, just other units that can do range damage through. So I guess I'm okay with that. The spider can pretty much kill that thing, so it's not a threat to Steve. Um, I just need a tiny bit of extra damage on it. This guy can shoot that, which will also do a little bit of extra damage. Not enough for the spider to get the kill, though, unfortunately. Um, what if you guys did uh, that charge strike? Could do this. You know, I actually like that move. They are burning now, but it does put them in a threatening position against these guys, and it allows the spider. Or it should have allowed the spider to get that kill. I'm not sure what changed there. You don't have stat vast or something, do you? Nope. Um. <clears throat> Huh? All right, I'm just gonna do this. Just get rid of it. Yeah. Fortunately, I don't think those guys are in any sort of trouble. Um, knowing this, I am gonna go ahead and send that hound in to lure that scrap hermit into attacking it, and then I can set up a decent counter attack against it. Might even be able to immobilize it with that, uh, with this guy back here. Okay, and then you can. You know what? On this turn, just shoot this guy. Because he's about ready to bleed out. And these guys can go take that archer out. Or at least get in his face. 
All right, that 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 that's pretty good, I think. I'm happy with that. Yeah, fine. Okay, there goes the warhound. He dies. This guy's standing right in the middle of where a fire explosion is about to go off. Should probably avoid that. And I can start hitting this scrap hermit for everything that I can. Can Steve, does Steve have another, have another free mark by chance yet? No, he does not. Okay. Let's just, uh, just open fire. Should do plenty of damage to it. Especially if I can get those flank attacks off. Steve, he can hit it from there. All right. Unfortunately, that turned out to be a graze. It's okay. We'll just keep hitting it. And now it can't move. Perfect. You should probably get out of harm's way here. Alright, I think I can finish it off with this guy. There we go. Okay. Didn't take very much damage there. That's actually, I think, good enough that I can kind of keep moving forward. Yeah. I do want this mage lock to catch up, though. As long as I can keep... See, now it says plus 28 gold per turn. What is going on with my economy here? Is it, like, factoring the income that I'm getting from killing these things into... into consideration? Because it's not really true income. It's, it's like, temporary income. Oh, maybe it's because I got a new city up? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a quarry here and move towards that that furnace. Yes, I do want to annex that. As a matter of fact, I also want to turn it to sand. There we go. That's better. It did carve a path through the mountains. That's nice. Okay. Another one of those ready. I don't really need to... Yeah, I just want to have it channeled. I don't need to use it yet. But this gives me area that this army can heal in if they need a backup. What are these guys standing on? Knowledge? Okay. Alright, well, ignore the furnace for now. I'll do the fight with the derelict workshop, then back off, and then go for the furnace. What are we up against here? It doesn't look like much. I'm sure there's more on the other side. But we're one turn away from finally getting this pesk off our backs. Alright, new tome time. We are now in tier 2. Okay. So the Tome of Mayhem was the one I was looking at for gremlins. And I think, let's see, I want to I want to have a look through all these and get an idea. Not doing Tome of Revelry. Um, this is one of those, this is one of those where I was really happy about the ability to hide race transformation. Because I like the Reveler's Heart, uh, I like the stuff in here, but I didn't, the Reveler's Heart transformation gives your people like, weird animal legs and I it th always thought it was really uncanny valley on humanoid people human people um, let's see so there might be stuff in the com tome of construct I might like um, particularly I like those bronze golems uh, tome of artificing gives you more crit chance I think from artisan armaments a sizable crit chance boost Iron Golems are great. Tome of Winds could give me my Seeker Arrows back. Uh, don't need anything out of Glades or Fertility. Nothing out of Inquisition right now. Souls Doom Herald. I don't really ever take anything from the Necromancy Tomes. Um, 
I think I'm gonna do Tome of Mayhem. Let's get some of these gremlins on the field. I think they're they're extremely useful. Plus, uh, Mark of Misfortune is nice. Um, so confusion. Okay, that's a siege project, and then infectious insanity. Mostly getting this one for the gremlins, but yeah, you know what? Let's get it. I want that chaos affinity anyway. Be the fog that seeps into the mind. And confusion. probably want to lock that mark of misfortune. Lose their grip. So I think that lock that cost of 50. The seeds of madness, of insanity, Inflict misfortune. In Effects are increased for non-repeating attacks, so that should Standing be like a improved chance for the ranged units. I think that's improved chance for my rifleman. I have 12 in army. Uh, misfortune... 15% fumble chance and takes eight physical damage when fumbling stacks up to three times. Yeah, yeah, I think that's I think that's a good upgrade to lock in. But I want the gremlins first. They're just too much fun. All right. Uh -huh. And awaken tools is done. That's more production and draft. I'm actually not sure if that's worth the city stability cost right now or the mana upkeep. So I may have, hold on to that for later. Thinking it might be worth it for Texas because Texas still has a lot of buildings to build, but it also needs to grow in order to even be able to build them. Texas doesn't even have Forester. It needs one though. It needs to expand kind of down this way. Three turns till growth. Yeah. All right, I think I got a plan for Texas. I am gonna build a mob camp. Um, that could probably go up here somewhere. It's a unit deployment location. I don't think it has any adjacency bonuses. It just makes tier one units cheaper, but it does count as a forester and it gives some food and draft. All right, we'll figure that out later. Texas needs time to grow in any regardless, so. All right, you guys carry on your your adventure, I guess. Oh, they can't move, so I'll have to wait. Check that all off. Uh, go back down and check in on this guy who's patiently been waiting underground. Um, I think we can finally get him his crosswater ability so I can go get this stuff. Oh, it doesn't put them on a boat. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. Flying and floating units really shouldn't need to embark, so. And we can just keep exploring down underground, see where the little river leads us. So here's something that I think that the game should change, because the underground has all these interesting terrain features with like rivers and lakes and stuff. The overworld doesn't have anything like that. It's just got mountains. Now they did tone down the number of mountains. I saw that in the patch notes. They toned they toned back the number of mountains, at least on land maps. But like I kinda think the above ground should also have some of these like more interesting, like thicker rivers that are harder to cross. Um and lakes and stuff. Like why why can't we have that? That would be cool. Um Age of Wonders 3 had stuff like that baked into the map and it made for some really interesting geography and choke points. Um, so I'd like to see that on the overworld. I know the province system kind of changes how everything links together, but if it works in the overworld, I think it should work in the... Or if it works in the underground, I think it should work in the overworld too. Just my opinion. See, I only have two heroes, so I can't afford... Well, you know what? Maybe if I'm back in the green... With... Yeah, well, I guess it would be back in the black, if we're using accounting terms. If I'm back in the black in terms of gold income, um, maybe I can't afford to get another hero. All right, yeah, let's let's take a, let's go hero shopping. No, <laughs> let's go hero shopping. Clicks on the crypt. Maybe looking in the wrong place. Um, Arcane Forge Masters, or no, sorry, Arcane Forge Masters, different race that I created for a different game that I was playing. I think I played this game for like four hours last night with one of my other friends uh, playing as a different 
group. Chaos Adept. Ooh, okay, I like that. That would get me towards that... Uh... Oh, I'm taking this one. Yeah. Yeah, more Chaos Affinity means I get to that really nice upgrade at the end of the Chaos Tree faster. Defense, Sprint, Vigor. Looks like a melee fighter. Yeah, I could change all that if I want to. All right. Let's see, what kind of stuff do I have? Oh, I could turn them into a... Um... Ooh, I, I, I like having a shock unit because I don't have a lot of those. Let's do that with this person. Turn them into a shock unit. We'll give them the Helm of the Warrior for the extra melee damage. Um, Helm of the Razorback, Ring of Resistance. Don't have anything else to give you right now. Uh, we could give the Dire Bear Mount. That would be good for a charge attacking person. Um, yeah, looks good. Might change your uh, what what level up things if you already got. You got defense, sprint, and vigor. Uh, those are all fine. I don't think I need to change that. Okay, cool. Another hero. Um, they can get out to help support Steve, probably, I guess. Well, let's see what's going on over here, because I, I should be able to... Oh, wait, no, that's next turn. All right. I'm going to have them go to Steve's group, I think. I have two heroes out here, mostly just because I saw the dragon out here recently, and I'm planning on founding another city out here. So, go that way. Um, Washington, D.C. produced that nexus. I would like to get the Merchant's Guild out here. I need four farms to hurry production on it, but the city is going to grow in three turns, so I probably could get another farm easily enough. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I have two foresters right now, right? So I'm going to do... And this is 10 gold income per mine, which I can build more mines up here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to fix some of my money problems. Um, we're going to build a merchant's guild. It's a sizable investment, but I think worth it. We're going to turn Washington, D.C. into a gold-generating powerhouse, which sounds weird. Because I could turn both of these into mines for a total of four mines. I technically have the... Well, that is a mine that's already counting towards it. Um... Just trying to think if with the Merchant's Guild would be better in any other city, but I don't really think so. Like, the, it would be decent over here, but it would still be only about four mines. Yeah, I think uh, we need the gold now, so let's do it in Washington, D.C. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to... I need to change something to a, a farm, at least temporarily. Yeah, so this is gonna. We'll, we'll, I'll build another farm later, um, but like at least temporarily, I'm going to replace this with a farm. Unless there's a different spot that would be better. No, this is fine. We'll, we'll replace that quarry with a farm temporarily. That will eventually go back to being a quarry because I want it for the Rune Carver Camp adjacency bonus. But for the moment, I need the farm to boost the production of the Merchant skill, and I wouldn't mind the extra growth anyway. All right, and then definitely want to add Tamilla the Warden to this city for the extra... extra chaos affinity growth. And now that's gone from being like 55 turns away to being 27 turns. Still a bit of a wait, uh, but we are getting... Actually, I think it's less than that. I don't think it's recalculated. 27, 188, I'm making 8 per turn. Okay, maybe it is about... Maybe, yeah, I guess it is about 27. But I'm making 8 chaos income per turn, so that's that's really good. Okay, um, and as for this city, I get... Let's just build the Mana Forge, I guess, because it's already boosted. Probably really should build a Vendor, but I don't have a farm spot yet. We'll get the vendor next. I think I'm gonna build farms here, but I have to turn the land to not horrible volcanic death. 
in order to do that. I may as well do that now, since I have some mana on hand for this sort of thing. Um, eventually I want to turn all of this to desert just to get the nasty volcanic healing prevention effects uh -huh. just gone from everything. I could get another hero, but uh, we're, we're pretty tight on gold again, so I'll just be happy with the one that I got. I know heroes, I don't think they cost gold upkeep, but it's just such a big upfront cost that cuts out a huge part of my uh, revenue. Hopefully, once I get that merchant guild up, that'll help solve some of my problems. And I am going to break a bunch more stuff on this next turn, so... That also is helpful. I really hope Blue doesn't come after me now that he's seen me down here. I was really enjoying this honeymoon period of being able to just build up without the dragons coming after me. we got to think about what to name this city. Tell you what, put your suggestions in the comments and I'll pick the one I like best. I'm looking for something authentic American, but it also captures the essence of this city. Are you guys a wander? Yeah, they're well outside their normal territory. They might come after me. Huh? Well, it doesn't change my plans for down here. This thing's got to go. Um, there's not really anything too scary on it, though. No, this is pretty mild, actually. I'll take that fight. Alright, let's send one of the units with the higher movement speed in. Might be able to even get away with an auto on this one. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, now we've got some stuff. A mage lock, mask of precision, that's... That would be very good for Steve. Um, what's that? Ch Choses? Ch Choses? What in the world? How do you even say that? Um, gives you swift. Yeah, I'll just take the reward. Oh, that finished production of that off pretty quickly. Hmm. The city has a huge surplus production. I could get a lot of buildings out of that if I boost things first. Or I could just use it all to get a town hall upgrade in 10 gold per turn. Like, immediately. I think I'm probably going to do that. I know I could be more picky with how I do this and like, try to keep the surplus production in store and only build things when... Although it might turn it... Yeah, I'm just going to get the town hall upgrade because that's 10 gold right now. Yeah, I don't feel too bad about that. Um, plus city stability and stuff. What do I want next, though, is the question. I think we're going to stick with the plan of getting a vendor next. Although, actually, regardless of what I get, see, the tavern would be two farms. I might actually just uh, not build anything in here for now. Let it sit for a minute until I can boost up. Because boosting production also gives you a discount in the gold cost of the buildings. So I'm just going to let the city grow for a minute. I did get another mage lock person. I think it's the same Dwarven Conquerors guys. I already had one of those. Um, now I need to put together a group to go clear this. And also bear in mind that these birds here could reach that spot. All right, let's organize the group first. I'm going to want the Dragoon, I'm going to want the Hero, and I'm probably going to want the Cannon. Uh -huh. Let's move these guys off of that tile. Well, actually, yeah, let's move you guys off for a second. Um, you, you, you. I probably want an extra Mage Lock. I don't have a gun in that group. I probably want an extra Houndmaster because they come with a free extra unit. And 
Maybe the Overseer for healing. Yeah. That seems like a pretty well-balanced group to go in there. What What is your specialty? You're also a mage lock, okay. I think those uh, that new item that ignores the effects of slowing terrain would go best on the cavalry charge unit that I've got over here. I'm going to give that to, to them. Just want heroes offer to join. Okay, I keep clicking on everything just because there's a notification. I can't do anything about heroes join offers. All right. I think that's it. Spells ready to cast. We're good. Uh, minus one gold per turn. can get blessed souls, but don't really want them right now. Is that a, is that a shield unit? Yeah, there's a shield unit. It wouldn't be bad to have a few of those around. I don't really have shield units through any other means, but it's too expensive. Yeah, I can't afford it right now. All right, everybody, gather together, charge forward. I would like Steve's army to be mostly tier threes for uh, resource discount costs. So we'll put the cannon in with him. And that's all I can fit with him. So we can add another tier two, I suppose. Probably the overseer. Yeah. The overseer actually should probably be hanging out with the harrier. is in this stack, so we'll leave him back. I should keep them together because they they can they can work together to convert enemy units. Um, so we'll put a hound master, we'll put that legendary hound master with Steve's group there. Where's the mage lock? Or no, I think that was the mage lock is the one that was catching up back there. Okay, so we got everybody. Um, I actually could attack that while I'm here, but I don't really want to take more damage right now. Um, what is it? It's knowledge. Oh, heck, why not? Hmm. I do not want to spend that much magic. You know what? I'm going to kill them because it'll get me money. I just hope my units are smart enough to not take... See, that guy took a ton of damage there. Why? We don't need to take damage out of this battle. Alright, hopefully I can make this one quick, at least. I guess I do have uh, a shield unit. I got those scrap, scrap hermits. This should be an easy battle. Move Steve up. Pretty much as close as he can get without being in range of those wyverns. I'll leave him in the trees there. That seems okay. Space for the hound to get up front. There we go. Okay, hopefully, this draws their attention. Oh, don't want to move him to where a pikeman can intercept, so let's go there instead. 
All right, should be good enough. Okay, good. Drew the attention of the spears. All right. Now. Okay, I probably want to hit right through there with the cannon. Cancels retaliations and defense modes. is to get through this fight without sustaining any significant amount of damage. Oh, those mage locks will absolutely annihilate that guy with 62 damage. What kind of units are these? Skeletons? Or all skeletons? Yeah, I don't want any of this. I was thinking about trying to subdue something, but I don't think it's worth it for these guys. All right, I can, uh, I'm gonna focus on killing the wyverns. Um, that will give the rest of my units a little extra flexibility here. Um, I might try to, let's see, can I? I shoot him. And then use anybody else with a range attack, like even this guy finish the dragon off. There we go. Okay. Then the plan is basically to get behind the enemy and distract them with the dogs. I might mark that dragon. Yeah, I'm going to designate target on this guy. He's distracted which makes it much, much easier for Steve to kill him. Oh, Steve forgot to use his mark again. Notice Steve forgot to do it. It wasn't me. It was not my fault. It's on Steve. There we go. move the scrap hermit over here and just defend. I'm just going to defend with the hound and keep him in position and basically wait until I can get a good charge with uh, that hero there. Jeez, that was a lot of damage. I think everybody else is pretty much good. I might try to, uh, I may as well try to immobilize one of these guys. There we go. I'm just gonna end my turn, we're good. All right, now I can freely charge in behind. There we go. See, no need to take a whole big chunk of damage from a fight like that. That's silly. All right, a little extra knowledge. It actually didn't even shave a turn off the gremlin research, but oh well. Then I need to get this mess cleaned up a little. For now, that's good enough, I guess. Can I get that Harrier that's really injured back into friendly territory? I can. Uh, there are more things down here, leftovers from the camp. Uh, they might try to fight me, so I'm going to have to hold ground for the moment. Ooh, more stuff. 76 gold, all right. Okay, no spells that I need to cast right now. I think we are good to end the turn. I wanna see what those birds do. 
whether they're just randomly wandering or what. Because if they actually come after me, that's not going to be great. Alright, I kind of knew these guys would. Since it's a safe battle, I probably am going to have to do this one manually because... Wow, they actually pulled it off. No losses. Alright, I'll take what I can get. Uh, I think they... I think they took somebody over, though. Oh, never mind. Um, I'm going to dismiss them. Yeah, that's fine. Don't need them. Don't know where the birds went, but... But I will not complain. All right, I want to get everybody back in here and heal up. We can top off my health, then go after this ruin, ancient ruin thing here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, Steve's army, they've got business to conduct. Much, much important business. Uh, probably want to ditch something in here to put the hero with the bigger army. Ah, for now, this is fine. They don't have any army leader bonuses anyway. Can I get by with an auto with this group? No. Can't afford to be throwing away units right now. It's too expensive to replace them. Oh, this is one of those choke points in the rocks. Okay. That's actually pretty good for me, especially if I can hit that... Right now, if I could hit that with anything, he could set a bunch of units on fire. Oh, gosh. You know what? I wonder if I just hold position, if they'll come walking straight through that mountain pass at me. Because if they do... I could just light them up with uh -huh. cannon fire. And that would be wonderful. Yeah, let's just form a nice little line here and see if see if they'll just charge straight through. I'm gonna get one of these dogs off to the other side, but I can't. I don't have enough movement. I'm going to send... You know what? I don't want to draw anyone that way yet. Sometimes the AI will put a unit up here that's a range attacker, and it can be kind of a pain like if it's that mage lock. So I'm going to... I'm going to leave one guy hiding in the trees there. That way, if I need to, I can run around and go after the mage lock. Although, I could, honestly, I, prob I could probably just shoot the mage lock down. There's no high ground advantages in this game, so... Okay, they are kind of splitting up here, but... If I target that guy pretty heavily, it is going to burn the units all around him. Alright, I'm going to use Designate Target on this thing just for the extra stacks of marked. I'm also going to have Steve mark him. Because that's the most dangerous thing in this fight. So he has five stacks of marked now. And then I'm just going to focus fire on him while simultaneously roasting his friends. Except for you because you can't reach him, so may as well just shoot them. <laughs> you know, the spider could actually get a pretty good web off here with the way these guys are set up. Maybe even immobilizing it, I think. If I move forward one more space and do a web. I uh, immobilize the wrong guy. Any 
anyone else with a range attack? Oh, you'll work. There we go. Perfect. All right. Then this allows me to... He can't reach anything important, can he? Not really. Mm -hmm. huh. yeah. uh, which one's the Dragoon? Where's my Dragoon? Oh, they're behind the line there. Okay, mopped that up pretty quickly. It's just copper golems and bronze golems that I need to think about. The mage locks don't have a very good chance to hit anything. I think I'm gonna hold position. I'm gonna back this guy up a little bit. I don't really want him. I do have a 66% chance to immobilize and mark that guy though. I'll take those odds. Didn't get the immobilize, but it, he's still marked. Okay. Well, in that case, what uh -huh. I'll do is I'll give you some extra uh -huh. defense. Uh -huh. If I could subdue that bronze golem, uh -huh. I would take it. But I don't think uh -huh. I can subdue him now because I used the one immobilized that I had. Unless, unless I can get him with the barrage uh -huh. thing. It might be worth trying. I would love to have a tier 3 pikeman. That would fit very well with the rest of my army. Uh -huh. How long is the cooldown on that net throw? One turn? Maybe I can get another chance. I'm going to use the put the dog out here just to be a distraction. And Wait, no, I don't want to do that because... Honestly, the mage lock will just shoot it and kill it. Okay. Let's just leave everybody pretty much where they're at here. Might put this dog over in this direction. You're good. You guys are fine where you are. All right. Okay, he did go for the him. Which is not what I wanted, but... He is a skirmisher, so he can just simply walk away. This gives units a 30% chance of being immobilized. It's much lower odds. I don't know if it's worth the risk. I think what I'll do is I'll just run this guy away and then back off and try to just get one more turn of being able to... Just get one more turn of being uh, having a chance of immobilizing and subduing him. All right, I do have to deal with this little situation over here. I can cancel his defense. All right, yep, just back everybody off. do is lure with the dogs yeah lure with the dogs just leave them standing right here bit juice too juicy of a target um hopefully actually what i want him i would rather him come a little bit more down this way because i think the cannon could get a shot on well actually if he attacks the dogs it won't matter because he won't be in defense mode okay. all right and then everybody else can just hold where they're at i guess you can make a little buddy if you want go harass the uh, mage locks Okay, he took the bait, which means I get another chance to try to immobilize him. 
this guy's just gonna die. Alright. Come on, immobilize. You can do it. 73%. He's immobilized, okay. And then we subdue. Oh, it doesn't work on them. They have control loss immunity because it's a robot. Okay. Well, in that case, just start shooting him. Right idea, wrong execution. Still, we cleared that with pretty much no problems. We're building up lots of draft in Texas, but we're not building anything there. I'm gonna take a brief moment, and these guys are going to stand in the Bye. desert here. Well, except for them, apparently. But they can get just a little bit of healing out of that. Aw, oh, that treasure's actually guarded. Wait until this can grow again before I build anything. Uh -huh. right, how are you guys doing? You're waiting there. This city is not building anything right now, so we'll leave it. Really need foresters, but uh, forests are... Well, I guess I could reach down here to get a forester. And a mine, actually, for that matter. That'll probably be the city's next pickup. It does have wait one two yeah I can reach that with the the next town hall upgrade. Mm, still don't feel like I can afford a hero. Do have more empire development skills. That one doesn't really help me. None of this really helps me much. I think I'll just let the Imperium build up for a little while. Okay, uh, on to the next turn. Wonder. Wondering where those birds went. Treasured brother. Yeah, I'll look for your brother. I'm sure he's alright. Oh, hey, uh, it was on that gold mine that I was thinking I should clear next anyway. Might use Imperium to hurry or growth of this city here. Okay, we got another dragon that grabbed a seal. Nobody's super close yet. Gold Dragon's about a tenth of the way there. Two of them I don't know. Alright, well. Did it say that I could track that? I create like a tracking on sc on screen. No, not treasured brother seals victory track. Okay, I'm not sure. Seals victory. Okay, cool. That gives like a. I'm just gonna leave that up there. That'll make it easier to keep track of the dragon victory progress. Okay, I'm going to take a crack at that furnace. I don't know where those birds went. It looks like they went back home. Uh, hopefully they stay in their nest over there. I have no in intention of messing around over there at all. Okay, what do we got here?
not really sure what this means. Maybe I actually need to read the paragraph. Terraforge, the heat's really hot inside. Smith's behind him, not in agreement. I swear the flames have become alive. Okay, here's what we need to know. When a defending magma spirit is killed, it spawns one lesser magma spirit. I don't really know that I want to do that. I'm just going to try to do it the normal way. Okay. I think these battlefields look really cool. I like this one. Yeah, it's just magma split. It's not like my guys are always on fire. So that's what, kind of what I was wondering based on the description of the, the thing I could do to stop the problem. Okay, so we got a couple good people with guns. Still mostly relying on guns here. In fact, I have almost no melee, so that's worth keeping in mind. I don't think these magma spirits are particularly tough, though, so... Should be able to deal with them okay. I mean, they're complaining about their forge being hot. Like, literally, you, it's built on a pool of lava, guys. What did you think was gonna happen? Okay, now people are on fire, because they have those AoEs. Wait, did I just take a hit? I can't see the volcanic indicators. All right, we gotta get these guys off Steve so he can actually do something. And I think I wanna mark that guy back there, but I also kinda need to mark this guy here. So what's Steve's range? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna mark this guy here so that this guy can shoot it off. Steve's got restoration, so I can fix somebody up if they're damaged. This is going to be a tough battle, because all these guys are going to keep splitting off into other magma spirits. I don't think everyone's walking out of this one alive. Kind of surprised. Oh, he's defending. Okay. Okay, well, now he's distracted. Okay, that's a can use. Okay, I can use this twice per battle, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it once or uh, once every two turns. I'm gonna get go ahead and use this now. After I back him up, I'm gonna hide him behind this rock. Use it to. Oh, never mind. He's got to do that uh, close range. Okay. Why am I getting a little red exclamation point there? Oh, that's. That's from the terrain that I was standing on. I would really like to kill that guy on this turn, but I can't. Maybe. Hang on. Do I have any spells that could do it? 
Oh, well, I could do fire damage to him, but that doesn't really help. I might mental mark a group of these guys out here. Yeah, they're not really positioned well for it, though. Let's see, I think their, their big incinerate blast is something they have to do... You know, they, they've got quite a bit of range on it, though. I'm just going to have to deal with it. All right, well, let's at least move this cannon back over here. And I'm going to move uh, Steve here up. But this is not Steve. I keep calling him Steve. But this is not Steve. I want him right here so he's got better shots on everything. I wonder if I could seduce one of those. <laughs> Good. Hey, baby, come here often. Yeah. He shot him. <laughs> That's not how you seduce people, man. <laughs> it did distract, though. <laughs> he freaking shot him. Uh, <laughs> okay, you're doing it wrong. Oh, man. Um, okay, I, I really should use a spell of some sort. I think what I'm going to do with this guy is... Oh wait, they don't. I don't think they exert zone of control once they fired their weapon, so it actually doesn't matter. I'll move him up and around here. Just kind of flank with him, see where that goes. I'm gonna take one last look at my spells. See, like this isn't gonna kill him. It actually comes closer than I would have expected, though. Um, suppressing barrage won't do it. What's the odds of that locking them in place? No, it's not good. I think that my best strategy is probably just mental mark. Um, how much casting points? 60? Yeah, probably mental mark. Stack sundered resistance and marked. I'll hit the two guys in the back with it. Sundered resistance doesn't really matter or help me at all. Okay. It's not looking good. Alright, you really need help. Um, thinking about letting this guy die so that I can get a better shot on this one. Possibly kill it. Or actually, what I could do, I could just kill this one now. Oh, now, now he's dead anyway. Um, yeah, I think he's just going to burn to death now. Three turns of burning, four die of fire damage per turn. Yeah, he's dead. I should have done that differently. Now I can at least get rid of this thing. In fact, what I think I'm going to do is send the Dragoon out. He's just dead. There is nothing I can do to save him as far as I know. Oh, crap. Okay. Um, move you back here and at least mark somebody for future reference. I would rather you not leave your back turned to everybody, so... Oh, they're on fire again. I forgot they can move after attacking, otherwise I would have taken the flank. Hmm. 
I think I'm just going to do Suppressing Barrage. Doesn't have a very high chance to immobilize them, but it does do just a little bit of damage. Although, I don't know, actually stacks of Marked from Mental Mark is going to add up to more. Okay, Overseer down and Dragoon almost down. Really need you. How many stacks of mark do these guys have? He's got two, he's got that number so small it's hard for me to read. He has got five. He's got two. Okay. Is it this guy who had five? Looks like five to me. I'll take that shot. He's probably going to... That Mage Lock's probably going to get fried on the next turn, but... Right. I gotta get that cannon up somewhere where it's useful. Maybe I should have gone ahead and... Got the little steam vents to stop the fires. Okay, can get rid of the little one. I can actually shoot something with the cannons now, I think. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Take the little one out with the cannons and these guys. Use Hero to do more damage to a bigger one. Oh, I should have used Distracted. Yeah, that was dumb. All right, it's just a uh, hero versus the world here now. I might need to think about running away. If I can maybe lock somebody into place with a barrage. I did lock one of them in place. <laughs> I've got an idea. He can't quite kill me. And I can kill his friend. Okay, that doesn't really help me, does it? Wait, what did he just do? I could try seducing him again. Uh, no, I'm just gonna shoot. Come on. <laughs> just a little down to the wire here. Should pop out the little one. And the little one finish me off. It's gonna be close. He's on fire. <laughs> what do I do? Okay, I think I could sprint and take a step somewhere and be a little further away from him and still in range to hit. Because, like, from here... Okay, if I do sprint and move just a bit away, it should make it harder for him to hit me. Oh, never mind. 
it puts me behind something that I can't, makes it so I can't see him. Ah, oh, this is gonna be it, down to the wire, but I think I might just have this. Yeah, I got it. I got it, that's all I needed. Die. <laughs> oh man, that was a mess. <laughs> down to the last bullet. Okay. Crown of Ruin. Which we do weapon, I get a Storm Orb. It's actually a pretty decent orb. Um, or I can just take 378 gold. It's definitely not doing the good guy option. Screw that, I want money. We'll take the money. Oh gosh, I've got... I can, I can now make units again, like a lot of them. Get another Dragoon, another Overseer, another Mage Lock, another Houndmaster. <laughs> Add them all up. Uh, maybe a, uh, another Dragoon on top of that. Just dump a bunch of money into my capital and let it run. Uh, I do have that other upgrade. I got the boost for the Merchant's Guild, so that's good. Um, my capital can now grab the Layer of Silk, which adds another quarry to the mix. But I could also get. Let's see what what else what else did I need here? Uh, eventually more mines. That's right. I do want this layer of silk though. I'm gonna get that instead. I don't really need it that badly right now, but but I want it. And then I need more places for foresters. It's at least getting me extra Imperium per turn. Then I need to start expanding with Foresters so that I can turn these two Foresters into Mines. Let's see. Do I want to upgrade the Wizard Tower? Yeah, I probably could do that. Wizard Tower upgrades are always worth grabbing. I've got a nice big surplus of money now. And I might dump a little Imperium into this situation too. Um add a mine down no I'll do a forester down here for now because I need it for growth in this city boost production of storehouse um, and then I think my army needs a second to uh, recuperate actually not the whole army it's really just this guy <laughs> Okay, we'll give him a couple turns to, to recuperate before I push push onward towards that mine. Maybe nah, maybe one turn to recuperate. Jeez, that one was down to the wire. Okay, we can reach the derelict workshop with Steve's army on this turn. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check this out here. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. I think... Yeah, I'll take that fight. Can I get away with an auto here? Uh, no, I don't... Don't need to lose stuff. split up kind of funny, but that side over there is definitely weak, so I think I'm going to charge. room for that uh, uh -huh. Dark Knight to get through. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Started the poor dogs in the acid. Oh. Alright, we'll 
form a line over here. what they do. Let's go come use this big shot. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel his retaliation and defense mode with the dogs and that'll let me run up behind Oh, it's, uh, he's facing the wrong direction for that to work. I think I'm gonna mark target on that guy just cause he's in the way. Wait, what did I just use? Shouldn't that have distracted him? Oh crap, it's a copper golem, not a... I thought that was one of my pikemen. Ah, yeah, well. Just gonna punch through anyway. I am going to back you off. Probably should have canceled his defense mode before doing that, as opposed to after. Uh -huh. If I destroy those... Do I do the manual target tile thing? Is it alt? It's alt, but I can't. Won't let me target those. Why would you not let me target the explosive barrels? That's exactly what I want to target. That looks good. This guy's still gonna be lobbing shots at me, but I can't really get to him with all the green goo everywhere. So, yeah, defense mode for you, defense mode for you. And wait mode for you. I think these guys you might actually want to turn around. I can't do that now. But they don't go into defense mode if they've attacked on their turn. I thought about driving them back into the acid, but I don't think it would really bother them much. And it would leave me standing in a bad spot with my back turned. So I'm gonna just do that. Ouch. Poor Harrier. Yeah, you need uh you need some help. Huh? Get down there and patch him up.
Alright, I need to punch through these guys to get units to surround that tank. Check. The scrap hermits actually don't have any acid resistance, so it will still hurt me to go into the acid. Just use these guys to clear the way. And all I really need to do is just pin pin it in here. Now I'm gonna take some acid damage, but that's okay. Just need one unit to get it on the other side. It's probably gonna be the scrap hermits, so. That holds it in place, and then everybody else can just pick it off. I'm going to designate target, get a couple extra stacks of marked. That's everybody. All right, I'm gonna say that's everybody. Really kind of want that guy to just die. Come on. Uh -huh. Go here. There you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There. Now I can start messing uh -huh. him up. In fact, you guys can move up. Ahead and mark him. Uh, actually, in this case, yes. Because they don't respawn. Huntsman's Great Axe. Scrap Hermit. Yeah, I'm sure I'll take the reward. Get another Scrap Hermit. He may be more useful over here in the east right now. All right, and that takes care of that little problem. Now I need to think about putting a city over here where a good spot might be. I don't really know. Um, probably something not too far from that temple. as a research post? No, it counts as a conduit. What about this? It counts as a quarry. All right. Let me pull up the economic view here, the province view. Normally I like to avoid putting cities directly on a tile with a special thing like a mana node because I like building conduits and research posts on those. So I think this spot right here might be a decent enough one. Um, or this spot here, both of them would work. That one would one, two, three away from that. There's plenty of forests over there if I reach a little further. I think uh, I think I kind of like that one right there. It 
it reaches out and grabs a lot of other stuff pretty easily and quickly. So I think that's where a fort's gonna go. All right, Steve. Oh, you just can't quite make it. How about you? Ah, you just can't quite make it either. Okay, I'll have to wait another turn, but we'll get there. And I'm gonna need to do this to at least get the land prepped for human habitation. I'll, I'll think about where the next one needs to go when the time comes. I'm gonna turn that province view back off. Uh, looks like I can cross through there. No, I can't, but I can cross through here into another cavern. All right, sneaking around underground. Uh, okay, so what did Texas need? Texas needs foresters. Really, pretty badly. I need an empire upgrade that lets provinces reach further. Can I, do I get that? No, that's next turn. I really could use that pretty soon. Um, for now, I'll take a quarry here. I'm trying to just have Texas reach down to grab some of this forest. It really could use foresters. And I'm probably going to have it build a mob camp. Maybe where one of those farms is for now. Like maybe where that farm is. Because that counts as a forester. Come on, right there, there you go. I can always um, put another farm up in one of those spots. Right there, probably. I did get the uh, Merchant's Guild in Washington, DC, so now it's just a matter of maximizing the number of mines there and I'll get a pretty decent payoff from that. Also, it might be time to build the item forge. Maybe I could make something cool with it. Yeah, why not? Let's let's grab that. Can't get the wizard tower because I don't have the mana for it, but the item forge I can afford. Actually, you know what? We'll let the wizard tower finish building and see where my economy is when it's done. Oh, this guy leveled up and gosh, he deserved it. What a trooper. I'm gonna get him more... Uh, Anything, yeah, eagle eye related. Archery kind of upgrades. Defense is fine for now because it'll unlock more of those. Okay, you leveled up too. That's good. I'll get you, um, I think I'm going to get you the, oh, a free mark target. You know what? That's just useful for my culture in general, so I'll take that. Uh, also... Demon Step is actually not bad for anybody who is like a charge unit. Can get them out of a bad situation. Can charge them in and then portal them out. Another good one's Restoration. I think that's just great to dispel all negative status effects. Target friendly unit that is dead can be revived with 60% of its total hit points. Oh yeah, I forgot. That can get up dead people. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take restoration because healing isn't exactly the reaver strong suit. Uh -huh. And then of course, who could forget about Steve who has also leveled up. Um, anything he should grab? Endurance training maybe. Give everybody a little more health or I could just keep making him more powerful. I wouldn't mind giving him killing momentum because he does have a wand of healing so he could shoot something and then heal a friendly. I think I'm going to take that. So I'm going to keep working toward yeah, I'm going to keep working towards that. I think I might take sundering strikes. Yeah, I think sundering strikes would be worthwhile because that's going to make 
that can just stack on with all the other stuff that the physical damage that I can do. I'll take that. Okay, I don't need to earth shape anything. I don't really need another actually I could take on another hero now. We've got we've got the cash surplus for it, thanks to everyone dying. Um, this guy has increased crit chance. I like that. Plus he looks like a pirate, which is cool. All right, you're hired. You have a pirate hat, you're hired. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Um, oh yeah, the Mask of Precision. I forgot I picked that up. I was gonna put that on Steve. Uh, it's... There you go. Yeah, wear this. Um, you. What do you have? Helmet. Nope, don't have any don't have anything extra for you, pal. You're gonna have to manage on your own. Although I think I'll keep him with his little pistol sword setup. He's kinda like another dragoon. Um maybe I'll send him this way. Considering the beating that everyone just took over there. And I am one turn away from that Empire upgrade. Okay. All right, we're going to bet the end of the turn here, and I think this seems like a good stopping point. I've, I've, I've accomplished a lot in this episode, knocked out two derelict workshops and cleared an ancient wonder, even if it did cost me basically an entire army. I think that's still in the long run worth it. I'm going to end up using this as more of a, a military, heavy military production city, more so than DC, because it's going to have a, a discount on all that stuff. Matter of fact, um, now that I think of it, hang on. We'll let that Dragoon fin- actually, the Dragoon hasn't even started producing yet, so... Oh wait, but I don't have a discount at this city yet. Well, actually... How much of this do I have? How much does this cost? 200 Imperium. Yeah, I thought about hurrying Imperium. You know what, I'm just gonna produce things at Washington DC one at a time right now, instead of like building a whole army and paying for it now. Um, because as soon as I can, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna grab that and incorporate it into this city, and then I'll start building military units out of here. I need to try to get the bathhouse though. That would be good. I'm gonna put that in the queue because the earlier I can get the bathhouse, then I can get bonus experience gain on units built in that city. Uh, so that'll remind me that I need to grab a farm. I'm gonna end up spending some Imperium to grow the city quickly because I really want to turn this into a military production powerhouse. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, I think this is a good place to wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate all the views and support, and I look forward to seeing you guys all again next week. Have a good one. Special thanks to all my Patreon supporters, including Tier 3 supporters Blitz, Brayden, Dawson Horner, Jimbro, Roderick, Sarah Feingold, and Tibian Army. Thanks so much, everybody. 